Is there anything else I could nab? Nope. Although there's this over here. Hello. Memories! What a mess. He was wrong even when he was right. <laughs> when Baxter tried to threaten me, Baxter thought he could blackmail me with my past, as if my past hasn't already done all the damage it could do. Well, what the hell was he gonna blackmail you for? You're fucking... You have your crimes tattooed on your skin! Oh, he'd basically go, well, you did crime in the past! And he'd just go, yes. I did. That's why I'm a cop. Turning my life around, you know? Hi. Um... I'll talk to you in a second. Buddy, that sickness she carried in her brain, you made it tolerable. Well, I guess you must be together now. Say what? Rex is grateful to Ronan for helping Julia through her mental illness? Julia had a mental illness? Where'd that come from? I didn't know that! Jesus! Virtually no evidence at the scene of foul play except bell symbol, no prints, no DNA, no immediate suspect, but everything's like that. No criminal no record, no violent relationship, especially no for Wednesday night. Who, who's your boy parties? Or is it Ouija board? Ouija? I'm not sure. I used to go to visit Rex down at the station, but it's been years. So when I went with Ronan today, today was like seeing the place in a whole new light. I was struck by a room they've got dedicated to the Bell Killer case. Everything they know, or even guess, or guess might be related, it's in that room. The strange energy of the people coming in and out of that room? You'd think there was some religious observance going on in there. I've never seen anything like it. Wow, so Julia's death was really recent. It happened during the Bell Killer case. So... That kind of puts perspectives into things. He's being reckless not because she died years ago, but because she died pretty damn recently. Got you. It was close. Where is everybody? Detectives usually work the day shift. Okay, but which office is Baxter's? It's in the back hallway to the right. Okay. Like Rex. He seems like a real, really good stepbrother, you know? Fucking creepy ass music. Make me think I'm about to get killed or some shit. Or killed even more by a demon. Does everybody play fucking Deus Ex Human Revolution in this place? That's ridiculous. Plain clothes cop. It was a it was a tr it was quite a trick Rex pulled, advancing Ronan to detective without making him spend much time as a beat cop. He convinced the captain and the commissioner that Ronan's street smarts would make him the uh make him most effective as a plain clothes cop. Ronan was very relieved. Oh Well that's convenient, so he didn't even really He didn't really have to spend time as like a full uh uh regular cop. He just kinda skipped a lot of the promotions. Well, I guess now it's time to hear what the story is behind this gun! I can still remember my first day on the force. Salem PD was in this tiny building on the edge of town. It was old, crowded, and completely insufficient to handle the day-to-day -day operations. Protecting Salem was getting harder and harder. But finally, the city decided to convert the old armory into our new headquarters. And when we finally moved in, I couldn't believe how big and modern the place was. Not bad for one of the first buildings in Salem. Plus, it just felt right. It used to be the city's first line of defense in a wild frontier, and now it had resumed its post once again, only this time in a modern world. The first week was a little chaotic as we settled in. One officer reported that someone had removed his gun from his locker. It took him 20 minutes to track it down, and when he did, he found it leaning against the wall in one of the unoccupied offices. 
Also, the late night station operator reported a strange phone malfunction. Occasionally, when someone would call in to report a shooting, the recording would just stop. The call would cut out, and the voice of the panic caller would just loop over and over again until the phone was unplugged. Soon it was pretty clear that these strange occurrences weren't just honest mistakes or faulty phone lines. One evening, the medical examiner came running down the hall in tears. She noticed that her scalpels and other tools had gone missing. She went to get more from the cabinet, but stopped cold at what she saw in the reflection. A ghostly silhouette of a Civil War soldier was standing over one of the corpses. She spun around, it was gone. She barely noticed how cold the room had gotten before running off. Of course, the guys didn't believe her. Hell, I didn't either, until I saw it with my own eyes. I was working late and got up to get more coffee. As I rounded the corner, I saw it in the reflection of the trophy case. It was staring right at me. He lifted an old, ghostly rifle and pulled the trigger. The trophy case fractured into a spider web of cracked glass and I, I took off running. The captain didn't believe me and docked my next paycheck to replace the glass. I didn't care if people thought I was crazy. I know what I saw. People sometimes ask me if anyone else has seen it since or if the specter still roams the halls. I always tell them the same thing. I wouldn't know. I transferred to Boston. <laughs> he got his ass out of there. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that wasn't as like super creepy as the watery grave one, but it, it, it had a story there that was kind of amusing. Ah, <sighs> well, let's go meet up with Joy as we continue running through rooms and spinning the camera around to see if there's anything glowing. That's pretty much the entire game. Run around, look for things that glow, and then press square on it. You guys think you're slick, huh? With you standing at the end of hallways, being really fucking creepy, but you know what? I'm a real ghost. I can do shit still, and that's always good. Are you trying to get caught? You're about as stealthy as a tornado. Ugh, the desk was like that when we got here. Yeah, I know. How many places can you hide a book in one tiny little room? Who knows? What is making those sounds? The mugshot, obviously. My mugshot. I thought Rex suppressed this. Oh, that's how he's trying to. Okay. So, not everybody knows that I was actually a legitimate criminal. Looks like someone was hiding your real rap sheet. Now I have proof. God, Baxter's a. Dick. He never used that blackmail file against me. Sure, take your time. No rush, I'm sure the book will find itself. All right, just calm down a second here. Cops don't hide things in plain sight. I just need to figure this out. Need to find the witness's mother's book. Okay, well, what do I... You have one. Message. What do I do about that? Just look around. Insights on killers. The form of each murder Something. changes. The inner zeal is the same. This is why the killings seem random, unrelated. But the police can't see these connections. Except Officer Baxter. I can't say I trust him. But he's my only chance. Insights on the killer's motive. A pattern of behavior in the killer's motives that the police are not seeing is the focus of Joy's mother, but she's having trouble convincing them to make to take it seriously. Well, 
Yeah, we need some information before you can just take everything from there. What, these are it? Academy class photo. Baxter graduated from the academy two years before I did. Okay, so I can see where we're, he's probably gonna hide it somewhere obvious. Like... <laughs> we'll piece together some information first. Hold up. Promotion combination. Man, he was so proud of making detective. I hope he becomes something, somebody I can be sympathetic about eventually. Terrors of 1692. Salem's disgrace. Baxter's been reading about Salem's history. Doesn't seem like anything he would care about. Unless it was related to the killers. Uh, I don't like this. I don't like being on a floor where there could possibly someone able to sneak up on us. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that our office wasn't like directly across from his, because that'd be fucking hilarious. Bragging! So that's what Baxter does in his free time, huh? Bowling. I don't know where all this, well, all the information is going to lead to, but I'll, f I'll figure it out. Why would Baxter leave town? I don't know. Maybe if we read the tickets, we would find out. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else in here that I could find? Ah, phone. Someone left a message on Baxter's voicemail. Hi. Could you talk? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna stand on you. Until you answer the. Until you check the voicemail. This is all I'm gonna do. Okay. You're not doing a very good job of looking. Okay. All you're doing is moving your hands around the air and sometimes phasing it through paper. If you, if all you're gonna do is phase through stuff, I could do that. Ooh, I'm looking for the book. Doing a real good job of it. Hey, can you check that voicemail message? That works. Okay. Baxter, I told you, you're off the case. Now we need all the files in that psychic's book in my office, now. Oh, it's in Rex's Rex office. Rex still asking for the book, so it is probably still in here somewhere. Good. Oh. Well, okay, Baxter hid the book. Baxter probably hid the book somewhere in his office because Rex was still looking for it. Well... So you're saying it wouldn't be directly underneath his desk? Come on. We have to find that journal. I'm trying. Don't bother me, just keep looking. I'm spamming square everywhere I can, lady. There's not exactly a lot I can do. What caused that mark on the wall? Ooh. He moved... The gun case. Neat. But is there any other inspection things for me here? No? Alright. What caused that mark? Matches gun rack. Uh... Stain? Drawn? Wait, wait, wait. Oh! Okay. I get you now. Uh, imprinted. Stain. Yeah, I did it. The gun rack actually, or uh, actually opens on hinges, like it's covering a secret compartment or area. Here we go. Found the book. There must be a latch inside that opens inward. I better tell the girl. Hey, he's actually got a cool setup. Hidden bookcase area, or well, gun case area. You should go pull the lever. See what I think happens. I found it. Show me. There's a button on the side of the gun rack. Yes, this is it. That's just pretty smart. But he's not being Please an asshole. Me, you understand where all these symbols are? Yep, yeah, some of them. That's weird. The last thing she wrote is he knows about me. Oh god, that means he was after her. You don't know that. Come on, we should move. 
Oh, tch. crap. Oh, no. Yes, we needed tense drama. Here we go. Wait, what is that? Oh, or, or just revealing stuff. The museum. That's strange. Why would this be in her book? I don't know. Just, just take it and figure it out later. She's here somewhere. I'll check here. Head toward the back office. We gotta go. Stay out of sight. Go, go! Ah, uh, there's a text drama. I just figured that someone was gonna come around here while she was looking for the book. Gala Invitation. A Salem History Museum Gala Flyer. Why would this be in her mother's book? I can think of hundreds of reasons why it'd be in the book, but that'd just be me stating the obvious. Okay. Well, how about you go look at the phone? Fucking call the phone! The phones! And the printer! Time to move, on. girl. How did she even get out of the room? By walking, actually. It was pretty simple. She just walked out the door. That's how awful your defenses are in here. Okay. Oh man, fucking. She's leaving all the way out here already? Geez, she can move. I guess that's the benefit of being alive. Alright, let's go down here, see what's going on, or do we, do we have to talk to her? Here we go. Hold up, hold up. I need to make sure the coast is clear. Rex. Who's that? Cop, you need to avoid. All right, you're gonna need to make a break for that room over there, but wait for my signal. Hey, LT, hold up. You know what this fire drill's all about? Go, go, go! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Eh. A cool sweep in the building. Well, is she related to Houdini? Those doors locked from the outside. <laughs> yeah, I'll check after we catch her. Hey, uh, you know... I just wanted to say that, uh, you know, Roland, he was, uh, he was top-notch. He, he wore his badge with honor. I hate it when people lie to me. I'm not lying. I just, you know, it's the only reason I tramp on this grave. He wore the badge because he thought it was intimidating, right? Because he thought it would make up for all the crap he did when he was younger. It would make it right or better, or maybe prove to the guys around here that he wasn't the guy they thought he was. You know what? I heard the rumor, Sarge. I know a lot of the guys thought he lived his life on the so, wrong side of the prison. So, no, no, it's, not everyone Sarge, It's okay. Like Look, no. I understand. But at least he was honest, huh? He would look you in the eyes and he would tell you exactly what he thought. Right? I'm here to tell you, that sort of bravery is a rare thing these days. I mean, you have much to be proud of. At least he didn't try to hide who he was. Yeah, I'm sorry, sir, but uh, it's been hard on everyone. What'd I just say about lying to me? <laughs> Dude. Okay, first of all, that lip sync. Second of all, well, at least he said something. Around the other guys being assholes. Damn. So okay, I'm hoping I can listen in on him. So where am I sending her anyways? Holy crap, what is this place? Bell Killer War Room. Everything we know about the case so far. Well, I got what I need, so... See hey, ya. If you keep trying to do this alone, you're gonna get yourself killed. How would I just leave it as... Oh, you won. Hey! Crap. Ugh. That's cheating! I can't leave through the window and you know that! God, okay. Chase the witness outside. Well, I can always go through the front door. Because that's how I did it before. Yep, there you go. No one locks the doors in this town for some reason. Maybe that's how the bell killer can kill everybody. Now it closes. can't get away that easy. If you care about the case so much, find your own damn clue. You won't find your mother without me. What? Oh god, do I have to convince her that I can help her find him? Uh, her mother? Because I don't know about that. That's kind of a reach to say that she won't be able to find her mother without me. Uh, we know about just as much as her, honestly. What would make her help me? Well...
Her mother's no implied that the witness should get her bell killer casebook from the phone. Ah, I don't leave now if I'm a book. No. Well, it could be this one, the killer's identity. The witness didn't know the killer. Who do I know that would want me dead? Nah, no, it wasn't. God damn it. I don't know what I'm looking for here. But I fucked it up. I failed all of the detective badges. Oh, I'm an awful detective. What would make her help me? I honestly don't know. It's not- it won't be that. At the very least, I know it's not gonna be that. Fuck it. Jesus Christ! The note? Really? That's it? <sighs> Leave now, find my book at the station, and don't look back. Alright, listen. Your mom wrote that book to help find the killer. It's not gonna say what happened to her. The truths we're both searching for can only be answered by finding the killer. I need a pair of hands in the living world, and you need a detective. Who can hardly figure out what to say, apparently. <laughs> the last case. Ashland Hill Cemetery. They can't see it, but it's there. What? I, I don't know, I, gu I guess. My mom thought there was a case that was linked to the bell killer. Cops didn't. Okay, we go there next. Ashland Hills. We? No, we? Come on, we need each other. You need me a lot more than I need you. Either way, partners. Fine. For now. Now is all I worry about. Ronan. My name is Ronan O'Connor. I'm... Joy. <laughs> Seriously? And Ronin is better? Why don't your parents think you'd be a medieval gladiator? So we're really going to a cemetery, huh? Yep. Uh, I, I have to do something, so I'll, uh, I'll just meet you uh, there. Uh, 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 uh. No, 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 I'm not letting you ditch you me again. You follow me, the deal is off. If it was meant to be, I'll see you there. If not, I won't. I don't like you! You better show up to that cemetery, kid. You're the only living person I have left. There's a creepy fucking chick who's probably from the Salem Witch Trial times. God. Joy needs my help to find her missing mother, and she can help me track down the bell killer. Okay, so I have to go to the Ashland Hills Cemetery. While walking back through the open road area, I guess. If I can get involved to support local law enforcement, if it is clearly established that there is a serial killer. The Salem Police Department had no statement on the FBI's announcement at, pre at press time, but has continuously, uh, continually refused to describe the deaths as the work of a serial killer. There's no sense getting the town hysterical over something that may not be true. <laughs> He's killed, like, apparently a shitload of people. God, you don't have to dodge it. I mean, I know, you know, you don't want to have the civilians of the world freaking out, but come on now. Okay. Is there anything out here? Ooh, hello. Detectives are trying to find any possible connection to the bell symbol. People named bell, literary references to bells, anything having to do with the bell. Yeah, I. This guy could do so much if he didn't fucking leave the bell symbols around, but then we wouldn't have something to follow. Witness immediately moved to trauma uh, counseling after discovering the body, a uh, badly burned body. Why- why would that be left in the middle of the street? Fucking- I don't know! Ooh, hello! Got another one of these burned things? Now, how about I can find the other four? Eternal Flame sounds like it'd be pretty interesting. Maybe it'd even be talking about... ...the burnt down remains or whatever the hell happened here, you know? Alright. Well, the good news is... There is no good news. What the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> I thought that the Ashland Hill Cemetery entrance was right here, but no. We gotta continue onwards. Alrighty. Maybe we'll find somebody else to help. I can do, like, a slight 
hinge of detective work by walking around in circles and pressing square on things, and then eventually, hopefully, putting things together in a coherent fashion. I kind of perceive some of the, some of the information differently than I guess Ronan does. It's like, well, what what information would be helpful? And I'm like, uh, this. And he's like, no, that's wrong. Hi. 